Happy Hunger Games! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to achieve this beautiful braided look inspired by the girl on fire herself, Katniss Everdeen. So let's get started. In this hair tutorial, you will need a hairbrush, a teasing comb, pomade or gel, hair clips, a hair tie and elastic, bobby pins, some heat protectant and hairspray, and a curling iron. To start off, brush your hair to remove any tangles. For the braid, we're using the crown of our hair. So I'm parting this about two inches above my ears. And then to make sure that the rest of the hair doesn't bother the braid, I'm just gonna tie it off with a hair tie. Next, I'm parting all of my hair to the right side. For the braid, divide the hair into two sections. Make sure the front section is thicker than the back section. Set that back section aside for now and secure that with a hair clip. With that front section, divide the hair into four equal strands. We're going to do a four strand braid, so take that front strand and put it over the second strand and then under the third strand and again over the fourth strand. Set the front section aside except for the very first strand. Now with the back section, divide that into three separate strands and we're going to do the same thing. So take the back strand and put it over the second strand and then under the third strand and again over the fourth strand. So now put the back section aside again and then we're going to repeat the same steps all over again. So with the very front section again, place that over the second, under the third, and over the fourth. And again with the back section, place the back strand over the second, under the third, and over the fourth. Repeat these steps until your braid is long enough to go across your forehead. achieved your desired length, just secure that braid with an elastic. Since I have a lot of baby hair, I'm just going to smooth out my hair by combing it. And then I'm going to put some pomade on my hair just to secure all of the baby hairs. If the top of your head is still not flat, just secure it with a bobby pin. And don't forget to put some pomade onto your braid also to smooth out any flyaways. To make the braid appear fuller, we're going to tug on the braid. Now flip that 
braid over to the left side and place it a little bit slanted so they look like side bangs. And just secure that braid with some bobby pins. Now grab a section of hair in the front and we're just going to tease the roots. This will just give the hair some volume and then we're going to use this section to cover that part on the side. Flip this hair back and secure it with some bobby pins. And then just do the same on the other side. For the rest of the hair, we will just be doing some soft waves. So after you've applied your heat protectant, Take one inch sections of your hair and curl away from your face. In this tutorial, I'm using my Bellamy 6-in-1 curler set and I'm using the 25mm wand. And if you wanted to purchase this curler set for yourself, I do have a coupon code down below that gives you $160 off, which is an awesome deal. set your hair with some hairspray and now you're ready for the 75th annual Hunger Games. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed it because I had so much fun making this tutorial for you all. Make sure you check out the makeup tutorial for this look and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!